Okay, so we're looking at the structure and features of a tropical storm. Here is a satellite image of a tropical storm. As you can see in the centre, you have the eye, that's where conditions are the calmest. On the outside of the eye, you have the eye wall, that's where you get torrential rain and fast blowing winds. And you can see this cloud formation showing an anticlockwise uh, direction of a tropical storm. Okay, depending on where tropical storms are found, depends on what name we give to them. In the Atlantic Ocean, it's the hurricane. In the Indian Ocean, they're called cyclones, and in the Pacific Ocean, they're called typhoons. Structure of a tropical storm. Here you can see a cross-section of a fully formed tropical storm. In the eye, you get descending cool air. This is where conditions are calm. Whereas on the eye wall, you get this rising, rotating, uh, warm air. And that's where conditions are most extreme, would be torrential rain and highest wind speeds. These huge, towering, towering cumulonimbus clouds also cause heavy cloud cover and high precipitation. Will climate change affect tropical storms? As the climate of the earth warms due to global warming, sea temperatures are likely to warm and this means that larger areas of the sea are going to be warmer. Scientists believe that the sea temperature will rise between 0.25 and 0.5 degrees Celsius, meaning that tropical storms can be distributed further north and further south. Frequency, in the, since the 1990s, we've had six of the 10 most active years in terms of tropical storms, suggesting that climate change is gonna make tropical storms happen more frequently. And finally, intensity, as time, has moved, as time has moved on and sea temperatures have got warmer, the intensity of tropical storms, which means their power, has increased.